In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool mirror effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see it creates this really cool kind of like mirror effect and it almost looks like kind of there's like clones or like kind of like rotoscope the subject. It's a really cool effect, a really kind of like trippy illusion. It's kind of a different way of doing it rather than doing like a split screen. It kind of looks a little more seamless. It's a really cool effect and I definitely really like it and I've used it before in multiple different videos. I want to show you how to create this really cool effect in Final Cut. Now don't worry, this requires no plugins. All of these effects are built in a Final Cut and that's right, I'll be showing you two different methods to create this really cool mirror effect in Final Cut. So as you can see, here are the clips without the mirror effect applied onto it. So you can see these clips, of course, by themselves look really cool, but the mirror effect just adds something to your video, makes it a little more, you know, visually interesting, and just kind of makes it a little more visually appealing. Now, a couple things to keep in mind when you're creating the mirror effect, kind of three main things to keep in mind, is you want to select clips or use clips where the subject is kind of on one side of the screen. That way you can create that really cool mirror effect. Another really important thing to remember is you kind of want your subject to be kind of like staying in one place. So if I play the clip, as you can see, Polo G is kind of just staying in the same place. Kind of having, you know, the subject on one side of the screen or having the subject kind of stay in one place makes this effect you know, a lot easier. And if, it, if those aren't the case, this effect can definitely be a little bit difficult to try to create or to kind of make the effect actually look good. Another really important thing to keep in mind when you're creating this mirror effect is you want to kind of use very simple and minimalistic backgrounds. If you have a very complicated background or a background with a lot of people, the effect can definitely look a little bit weird because the people are going to kind of like collapse into each other. So I would definitely choose very simple, very minimalistic um, backgrounds. Definitely kind of like dark scenes will look really good. So again, you want to kind of have clips where the subject is on one side of the screen, clips where the subject is kind of staying in one place, and use clips with very simple, very kind of like minimalistic backgrounds and this effect is going to look really cool. Okay, so the first method to creating this really cool effect is literally just called the mirror effect. So head over to your effects panel, go to all, go to the search bar and literally just type in mirror, take the mirror effect and then just apply it onto your clip. As you can see by default, it looks a little bit weird. So if I play the clip, that's kind of a little bit weird, but with a little bit of adjusting, you can make this effect look really cool. So what you want to do is you want to click on the clip, head over here to the mirror effect, and I will either change the angle to zero or you can change it to 180. So you can see now we just changed the angle, but unfortunately that still looks a little bit weird. He's kind of like collapsing in on himself. So what you want to do is you want to select the clip and you can actually adjust this right here. So you can kind of like this on-screen control, you can move it over. Let's enable the show horizon and kind of just center the clip up. So we just center the clip. There we go, that looks a little bit cooler move him over and kind of just center the clip and now that's going to look a lot better. So if I go ahead, head over here to view, just disable the show horizon and I play the video, this is what it looks like. You create this really, really cool mirror effect. I think that, look, I think that looks really cool. Now, of course, there are a couple of things you could do to make it look even cooler. You could, you know, adjust the angle of more, adjust the center, but that's basically how you create that really cool mirror effect. Just take the mirror effect, change the angle, and you can adjust the on-screen controls. The only reason you want to do that is just because it looks weird when the, the person is kind of collapsing in on himself, but there we go. We have created this really cool mirror effect in Final Cut. Now the second method to creating this really cool mirror effect is called the Collider Tile. So head over here to the Effects panel, we'll just um, X out this. What you want to do is you want to head scroll down until you find Tiling. Then you want to do is you want to take the Collider Tile and place it onto your clip. Now you want to do is you want to take the height, you want to drag the height all the way up, and then you want to take the width and just adjust the width. And there you go, so you see that looks really cool. We can also take the position, the Transform tool, kind of move it over. We can take the width and maybe adjust it a little bit, and there we go you have this really really cool mirror effect so if i play the video just kind of see what it looks like there we go that looks really really cool now again you can head over here you can adjust the width you can make you know, kind of like make out of this effect if this is something you're going for if i play the video as you can see that looks kind of cool now we can i guess if you don't want kind of all collapsing and stuff you can take the width and adjust the width out a little bit and there we go now you have a really cool mirror effect when you can of course do on-screen controls and adjust it to kind of get the look that you want and there you go that's the second way of creating the really cool mirror effect in final cut and there we go those are the two different methods when creating a really cool mirror effect so have fun with these effects kind of experiment them experiment with them try different 
you know, ways of doing it, but I just want to show you the two main methods to creating a mirror effect in Final Cut. So again, as you can see, here are the two different ways of creating a mirror effect. All you want to do is either apply the mirror uh, effect onto the clip, adjust the angle, adjust the center, or you can adjust the collided tile and adjust the width and height and you know center. And of course, you can go on screen, you can move it on screen. Of course, I can head over here to the mirror one too. You can actually adjust kind of the transform to kind of move it around. And there we go. I just want to show you a couple different ways to creating this really cool and really popular mirror effect in Final Cut Pro 10. And again, requires no plugins. They're all made with using the built-in effects in Final Cut. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.